Hi, Well, I'm club. Well, I'm waiting for some art supplies to arrive. I have this really, I have this idea how to make a fountain water effect quick and easy. And yeah, let's let's try it in a speed build. Let's try it. Bam, bam, bam. So this time this will be a talking, talking, talking video. I explain while I do stuff. So my base will be eight centimeters by eight centimeters. So I go a little bit bigger. See, it's all crooked and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's freehand. Come on, it's not so important. It's uh, not so important how perfect, nice this will be. I just want to try something. The basic shape will be a little bit crooked. Doesn't matter. Gives the stuff character. So, this is my basic shape. Okay, then I need to make some stones. The stones could be like one centimeter thick. Let's take this, okay, one centimeter thick. So, okay. One centimeter thick. This is regular XPS uh, for insulation. In Germany it has this eggshell color, which I like, because if you don't paint properly on top, it doesn't matter. matter. For if pink or blue shines through, I th could imagine that's not so nice. We'll just um, cut some some stones. I always make blocks so I can do several cuts at once. You see like this now I had eight pieces and now I had eight pieces cut at the same time. So <laughs> stuff. Um, I guess it's not healthy. Okay, so it's bucket uh, texturing time. Maybe you have seen it already. I just throw in those. I'm waiting for the color of those, for those the beige tones to arrive. So I throw all of them in here and some stones. The stones are always here. The stones are all gray now because I use them on gray color. So they even got the old XPS sticking here. <laughs> Okay, so this would be the bucket texturing. So, but also let's put some color in there already. Um, because we do stuff fast. Okay, let's put in some water. It was some pinkish water. Who cares? No one cares. So, some black. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> okay, this is some black wash. Yeah, and some white. Okay, I guess by now you will all be sick because of the camera movement. But we are in a hurry. So this is texturing and painting at the same time. Rubbish is not rubbish, rubbish is tools I used. This was a wrapping from, from a package, so. I take my stuff here. Usually I put uh, um, things on here. What's it called? Gloves, but I don't want to now. So, okay. Let's take this stuff and lay it here brick by brick. They, like always, not touching, otherwise damaged. Okay, it was a little bit too wet, but see here? here the pink or the blue would shine through here it is the beige so it doesn't matter it's okay um gives it a nice warm yellowish tone now the thing is um this stuff has to dry ah the base plate we can also this was my base plate ah, over there take out the stones Throw it in there as well. Okay, one, two, brush. All the sides in color. Base plate, stones, 
This stuff uh, needs to dry now. Or well, let's go crazy. Let's just go crazy and glue that shit together while it's wet. Ha! Let's go. Let's go. So, I'll set you up here. I hope you can see everything. No, you can't. So, let's go. So, take this away and this away. Here is our base plate. I'll need some. I got some small piece of baking paper that it fits this on here. And then, let's go. Let's go crazy. PA for life! Again, stupid again. So, oh, that's far too much. But, let's. Let's let's go crazy. Just dip the just painted stuff in here. Watch. Far too much. Doesn't matter. Okay, I could have used this one. Chuck, take this one. So sometimes I'm so surprised it almost fits perfectly. Um, I don't know how I. It's a feeling thing. So and now there's this little piece. Um, missing. And I will cut this one. And it's about this thick. So this will be covered in glue and fill up the gap. And that's it. This is a mess. But for testing, look how fast it is. I, I built it, it's pre painted. And um, okay, that's it's okay. <laughs> Looks funny. So, da -da 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 -da. okay, let's try something. We just made a, a pit fire um, some uh, before, and now the kids are going to bed, and the stones and the, the the coals are still warm. There's no more fire, but everything is nice warm. So I put it on this stone. Let I show you. Uh, so the sun is going down, and uh, before we had. Uh, fire here pit fire now I took all the ashes uh, it's still it's still warm it's not warm enough to grill or cook but um, those stones are also really nice and warm so as this is baking paper I've just set it here so there is the warm air rising from there and the stone where it's lying on and uh, it's beginning to dry really quick that is cool let's see how long it takes to dry here <laughs> always up for some quatch so it is drying quite nicely I like this texture so the cool thing is um, the foam does not melt it's not so hot that the foam melts no it's um it's trying. Oh not a mosquito's out. Ah oh, god damn it. So while we are waiting for this thing to dry, back to my um idea. I got this um transparent paper. Um so my idea is to instead of filling the pool with the resin or whatever. I just put a piece of this on top in like on this first one centimeter layer then some cornerstones on top of that and then some medium or PVA or whatever on top to simulate the water so we don't have to fill up everything and um, and uh, and make it so heavy Okay, restart <laughs> the scissors. So, how much is this? This is, that's okay. And now we need some, almost eight centimeters here. Take the scissors. So I need a center piece. We can make it out of those, but we have to glue it to the structure outside okay so prepared those two bricks with some glue we could put it like this but we could also put it like this I guess I like this better 
Yes. And then there would be oh, those mosquitoes. Um no, I don't like it. I like it like this. That's a good thing with PVA and that it dries so slow. Got a lot of time to rearrange. <laughs> Just uh, drying the fountain at the pit fire. It's the same thing like the water doesn't dry. <laughs> so when you mean the water effect, but it's the water. So, oh God damn it, I explained my joke. Okay. This thing is almost dry, but it's okay for our purpose. So uh, let's take this as a base. So, where are those? Oh, over there. Okay, let's see. I got those uh, pieces here. When I put it too big, I have to cut it down a little bit. Scissors are caught in the tripod leg. So, one and two. Let's see. Is it okay? This side needs a little bit more trimming. So, Okay, this is a little bit smaller now. I guess this will be okay with only one layer because we have this now. So, I'll take uh, this uh, super glue now for the plastic. I never tried it. On the foam, I hope it doesn't, this one doesn't eat through the foam. I guess not. So, okay. So, okay, let's, I got this um, kit box with those pre-painted. I try to find four of the same size. So, tuck. So, let's see how that fits. Does it fit? No, not at all. I could use some rulers and stuff. I could. I should, maybe. Or maybe not. It would be faster, I guess. It would be faster. But um, not as fun. So this looks good. Yes. So now we got the angle right. But now it's too small. So I expected it to be too small now. So we do this trick, we cut this in half. So and then we put those here and fill up the gap with a small one. Let's see. Let's see if this is I want this to be a one evening build, like one or two hours test test build. Just try it out. Um, I've seen another video and he used the word, what uh, proof of concept. That's a cool word. I want it to be a proof of concept. I love that expression. The little crooked thingies. So. So this fits, okay. And then hmm, we we should we should do some pillar stuff here. Hmm, do I have oh, look at this? This is perfect. I'll use this. Just that's when you don't uh, don't clean up your mess. You find cool stuff. That is good. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit too much, but it will dry transparent. Or oh, those big ones are too big. Need smaller ones. I'm not climbing up the wall. I get, oh yes, oh yes, this is it. This is it. So just trying the stuff you have and get in. Don't be afraid of the costs you've spent. Or... That's why I don't um, pay uh, buy the modeling from the modeler stuff because it's also really expensive. I tried a little bit. Um, yeah, then I'm afraid of the costs. 
And when you use the cheap stuff, it doesn't matter. So only a little bit of PVA. So and then, should we go this or this? Now we go this, this way. That's good. That's good, good, good. Okay, let's see how it dries. This will this will stay here overnight. Good night, good fight. <laughs> um, it's okay. This is a really fast, uh, fast build testing thing. It looks cool. Some water outlets, and then we're good. While we wait for this thing to dry, about the begging thing. Um, Patreon and Amazon wish list and buy me a coffee and stuff. So um, I, when I watch other channels, um, they say, okay, this uh, makes everything happen and possible and stuff. For me, it's not like that. I do what I love and uh, and I try. I like to share it with you. Um, and I do it anyway. If you give me money or not, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but when you get a new Patreon, I only got two to now. <laughs> um, it feels so damn good. It's like, wow, someone loves this thing so much that he's willing to give you a little bit. Um, and that's that's wow uh yeah thank you for uh for giving me that 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 really nice feeling uh it's 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 feeling great <laughs> thank you um i tried to 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 pause the process um but i find stuff i can do so i thought about what to do um with the outlets i don't have anything then i cut up some Q-tips in Germany. Uh, this is paper or whatever, or cardboard. I think the styrene stuff is forbidden now. And the hole is a little small, but I will try it now. So, um, I'll go here for, for a small hole. One, two, could measure it, but why should we? So, one, two, three, four. And then, where is the PBA? My best friend, the PBA. So, okay. No! I dropped it on the floor. I dropped it on the nasty floor. And what's on the floor it will never be found again. Shit. Ah, I found it. It's a miracle. <laughs> I found it. So. <laughs> That's really a miracle. Usually, when I don't clean the floor and something drops on the floor, it's gone forever. So this looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, if you like the stuff, uh, you know, the comment thing and uh, subscribe and uh, like and all this stuff you need to impress YouTube. Okay, this looks good. You know what? I take this nasty color here and just slap it on there and blend it in. Who cares? And at the same time, I just push away the, the glue that is too much. Yeah, just keep it simple. Dirty, quick, dirty. Okay, so now this is already drying a little bit and it is looking good. So what can we do next? Okay, we need some water to fall down. Okay, after ages, my super cheap hot gun, uh, hot glue thing is um, ready to blast off. So, okay, let's 
check if we can do some small streams of water. Yes. So this, I think this is too thick. I need to go faster. Oh, that was too fast. It's bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. We're just doing this plastic thing here. And, uh, okay, to try to get a thin stream. So, okay. Yes, that's good. So, trim this off. Oops, it's still not dry. So we need this this little tiny bit will be what falls in here. So this is so fiddly and I'm feeling so uncomfortable. It's um it feels like driving with no driver's license. You don't you you, you manage but you don't know what to do really. Yeah. So but that looks good. Yeah. Some water is bending in a funny way. Should fall down in a straight line. Yep, so here you can see there's a small gap, small gaps. We need to fill those gaps. Way too much effort for a test piece, but maybe it's not a test piece anymore. Maybe it's a cool piece already. So this is the thick acrylic medium from the art supply. We're smearing in here. Will dry transparent also. Also glue stuff a little bit together. And um, if you wonder where I'm taking it from, there's some spilled on the table and I'm just using this. Okay, so now it's getting nasty because the column is not sticking and everything's moving. Now the instant glue is sticking to those and no. So Chuck. Okay, this was moving so much. It must be here. Bit of water texture, there's a circular thing. Now, the circles when something falls into the water, also when water falls into the water. Okay, so now I really call it a night. Do I? Do I really call it a night? We built the base, the bricks, the coloring, the plastic sheet, the top bricks, this 
column, the outlets, the water effects with the glue gun and the medium. Yeah, it needs to dry now. Let's see how it looks tomorrow. I guess it will be cool. Good morning. So the acrylic medium is almost dry. The sun is out. It's nice, it's warm, it's t-shirt weather. And the fountain is looking great, like I expected. It works. The effect works. So let me show you. So this water effect is perfect. So for stuff like this, pools, I will, small pools, I will use this flimsy plastic card with some acrylic medium on top. I don't know if I will stipple on some white for some foam or some highlights. I guess I leave it like this for now. Uh, I just wanted to test the plastic card with the medium and connecting to the hot glue. Looks good. Looks really good. It works. Check this out. And the cool thing is, the acrylic medium dries relatively fast when it's applied thin. And it's only thin on there, so this is, for drying overnight, it's perfect. I love it. It's cool. It also could be ice, if there was some cracks in there maybe. Or, or just put some snow on top. I guess if you just put some snow on top, a little bit snow on the stones and this, but then this would would be ice also. <laughs> um, for frost grave maybe. Um, I guess if you just sprinkle a little snow on it, it's a frozen. Hachi, <coughs> flowers flying. Um, hmm. Yeah, I like it. So I uh, will definitely use this more often. I like it. See ya. <laughs> bye bye. No, not bye bye. See ya.